The chaos in the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC was laid bare yesterday at the funeral of slain activists. Morabla Singh Ali where factions fought running battles as they turned the Samba scene into a war zone. Ali was finally buried at Zararo Memorial Park in Chitungwiza, two years after her remains were found cut to pieces and dumped in a disused well in Nyatsan, Chitungwiza. Hundreds of opposition CCC party supporters and many followers of the former party leader Nelson Chamisa attended the burial. The drama in the CCC took center stage as angry party members loyal to Nelson Chamisa who were clad in blue and those that were chanting slogans in support of CCC former vice chairman. The popular Jobs Sikala clashed. The violence erupted when the two opposing camps started chanting slogans in support of Sikala and Chamisa as the palpable tensions boiled over. Chamisa quit the CCC last month saying the opposition party had been infiltrated and hijacked. Sikala has also quit the CCC and forged his own movement after accusing Chamisa and his party of abandoning him during his days in prison. This publication witnessed running battles as supporters of different factions within the opposition party clash, turning a solemn occasion into violent scenes of bloody fights. Some were throwing stones at each other while others exchanged blows. As soon as violence broke out, Sikala who had come for the burial quickly fled from the scene. Chamisa did not turn up for the burial. The burial only resumed after tensions cooled down following the intervention of elders. The late Ali's father Farai Ali expressed disbelief at the manner in which his daughter was murdered. It really pains my heart that my daughter was murdered and cut into pieces like chicken, he said. She died a very painful death. Mora Blissing was a hard worker. She built this house on her own. He recounted the last conversation he had with Mora Blissing where she revealed her plans for the future. Before she was murdered, she called me on the phone and told me that her husband wanted to finish paying La Bola. He said, We would never have guessed that she was about to leave us. Her mother, Judith Chizawa, said she was still traumatized. We still demand answers. She said, We wonder how they murdered her. We are shocked. We were robbed of a very humble and loving daughter. It's so painful. I hope and pray my daughter finally rests in peace. Ali's brother, Wellington said the family was harassed after Mora Blissing's murder. The truth must be told so that we may find peace and closure, Wellington said. Soon after we heard that Mora Blissing was killed, we were harassed and assaulted after we gathered to mourn her. I will not mention names of the people, but what I want to say is that there are evil and heartless people out there. Ali's daughter, Nayasha said, I still have a lot of questions. We had arranged to go to the farm over a telephone conversation. I did not know that that was my last time talking to her. The family's lawyer Sikala vowed to pursue justice for the family. The bones of Mora Blissing Ali that were put to rest today yesterday shall rise again, Sikala said. Her death is not in vain. It will surely have a role to play in the future politics of this country. But the lesson that we have all learned is that never again will we lose a life because of political differences. Sikala thanked the Ali family for standing by him when he was in jail. The family vowed not to bury Ali until Sikala was released.